Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, in the last video, I made this bangle out of a stone, a clay uh, jade from the Gobi Desert. And um, that video was in Cantonese. Uh, if you want to check it out, do so. And I have some highlights for you. So here's the highlight. Right, so this is the volcanic clay j um, all I have here is a magnet a magnet on a stone and uh, usually the volcanic uh, j stone um, contains a lot of metal so it sticks um, to the stone the magnet sticks to the stone and it doesn't mean the bigger the stone the more uh, magnetic it gets and um, it's very different some parts have more look at this part here um, it doesn't stick at all um, it doesn't attract the magnet um, but yeah every stone's different every stone's unique so this is it this is a highlight from um, my previous video and um, this is the bangle I made from that stone. Right, so that was a highlight and um, this is the stone, the same type of stone that I used for that bangle. So um, just a little bit on this stone. This is a volcanic rock, um, but this is special to the Gobi Desert. This one is a clay J stone. Um, before it was a desert, it was an ocean. Um, in the ocean, there was clay, there was mud under the sea. And this is um, the material from the sea. So the, under the sea, there was clay, mud, and it formed uh, through time, through changes of the weather, um, the land, landslides, everything. And it became a stone and um, the ocean dried up and then on the desert, there was also um, a volcano. And then this is the outcome of this stone, as you can tell, this rough skin, just look, looking like an avocado. Um, this was from, most likely from the lava. So the lava r ran through it and it formed this special pattern here, a uh, special skin of this rock. Um, and inside, just black. Um, very special stone and as you can see in the highlights it also um, contains a lot of metal inside this it's pretty heavy for a stone so in today's video I'm going to use this piece um, this piece came out of the middle of this bangle and I'm going to continue and use it um, instead of this going to waste um, this is usually um, used to make other stuff um, you can actually make um, actual sculpture from this and use it as a display or you can continue to make um, more jewelry so I'm going to continue and you uh, make more jewelry so I'm going to make an another bangle a small one and then possibly if it allows me to I'm going to make a small ring a ring a smaller one so I can wear as a ring, the, um, the smaller bangle will most likely for a kid. Um, and then something for the middle piece, the very end piece in the middle, probably most likely a pendant um, to make a small necklace. So this will all be used um, instead of going to waste. So let's go and make a bangle first. Another one. So here he is, uh, I got this piece right in the middle out of there. So we've got another bangle size, uh, a very small one. So this one would be for, for a kid maybe. And then we can make something out of this one later. So in this video, I'm gonna concentrate on this one. Um, from this one, um, I use free hands. So basically I used um, the discs um, on the grinder to grind it and also 
days, um, which made it very hard. Um, although the sanding was good on that one, because um, the heads, the grits were worked well with this type of material with this rock. Um, but there was a problem every time um, I had to try to get it out of shape. Um, it wasn't very even, not as um, even I would like it to be. So for this one, I'm going to try and use this. So this would be attached to a machine and it would just spin. As it spins, then I'm just going to right here, grind, 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 and eventually um, just grind these down first on, on the machine first. Uh, so, and then slowly get it into uh, this shape. Um, see if this works better with this uh, material. Um, see what the outcome would look like compared to the last one. Um, there should be an improvement because that one's already in a good round shape. All I have to do is put pressure on um, correctly, evenly throughout the whole um, um, outer area of this bangle. So let's give it a go. finished the smaller bangle and it actually better than the last one. Um, I used a different method this time. I actually used um, mainly on this machine here to um, sand and polish and it allowed me to go all the way to 3000 grit. Um, I found this easier because it's a table shape and I was, be, I was able to hold this and apply the right pressure onto um, the sanding um, equipment and the polishing equipment. Uh, it was better than the um, drill type that I used and it was quite heavy so every time I touch and grind it was very hard to apply it an even pressure on the polishing and uh, sanding. Um, this was much better. It's still not perfect, but um, using what I have here, and it's a great result. It's actually um, a lot more even on both sides, and I was able to grind it down even more, so it's nice and shiny. Um, yeah. So this is it, and I'm going to continue with the other leftovers um, and see what I can make out of them. Um, hope you like the video. Um, remember to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye.